this video is about Bissell Turbo Clean Dual Pro Pet Carpet Cleaner. This particular carpet cleaner is pretty awesome. I've been using it uh, on the dirtiest carpet that I could find in the house. Uh, surface recommendation is mostly for carpet and upholstery. Uh, includes component like cleaning tools and formula. Uh, it, it, it does its job. It's made for, um, you know, everyday dirty carpet. And you see the brush is pretty sturdy. I wanted to show you the belly of it, uh, you know, so you get a better idea whether or not you want to buy it or not if it's going to be for you but if you are a have a house and you have carpet i don't see why wouldn't you buy it it's pretty good uh, it's easy powerful cleaning you know and you see this attachment it just goes there if you needed to clean your um, sofa or something or small areas where this carpet cleaner can get to so you just connect it like this and it'll do the job all right uh is i mean these attachments are great uh, when you have to clean, you know, places where you can get the cleaner, uh, most of the cleaning is going to be done with this vacuum cleaner. I mean, you go to the supermarket, you try to rent it, it's going to be about 30 or $40 uh, to rent it and uh, to be able to, you know, rent it for four hours and then you have to return it. And, you know, mind you, that carpet cleaner was clean, somebody else's dirty carpet, and you don't want to bring it to your house to want to clean the carpet when you bring somebody else's dirt on it as well. So you have your own tool, you have your own carpet cleaner. It's always better. You know, it doesn't cost much. I think I pay 170 for it. And this is how you fill up. This is how you get all started. You see, it's very easy. It has water levels. So you fill up to the water, hot water that you have on your sink. Um, the manufacturer, you know, do not want you to boil water to put there because it will damage the, um, it will damage the machine. So the most hot you could do is whatever comes out of your sink. If your, from your sink comes out too hot, please, uh, you know, make sure it's lukewarm. That's what they're asking for. Lukewarm, not too hot. You see the mark for water? Since you have the water up to the mark, now it's time to add formula. What I like about this is I didn't have to measure any formula. So what I'm going to do is, you see this particular uh, soap it came with this machine. Um, you know, I, I thought that was good. You know, it's good that the manufacturer gave sample. And they recommend you only use Bissell's uh, soap. So I'm just going to keep on pouring it until the water level rises up to where it says formula. Uh, which is perfect because now you know it saves me time for, uh, you know from going to get a cup and measure and whatnot so i love the fact that they put line there in you know it's you could do this in no time without any worries i thought that was a cool feature you see formula and water and you have two mode deep clean or you have uh quick clean i believe they call it or express clean something like that um, which is very uh, great also. If you are on the run, your carpet is already clean and it's dirty, you could easily, you know, clean. So you see these wires, it doesn't re retract by itself. Uh, you have to manually do that. Um, I guess they couldn't design it. So we're going to get started. So most importantly, you plug it in and you have two more, deep and express clean. That's what I meant to say. So I put it on a deep clean because this carpet I'm working with, I found the dirtiest carpet I could find in the house to be able to show you uh, you know how it's done so they uh, the manufacturer recommends you hold the trigger for 10 seconds for priming when you first uh, Introduce the soap to the machine make sure you hold your trigger for 10 seconds without uh, Moving it so once you got that priming going you hold the trigger until uh, You know you're done applying soap so they recommend for deep cleaning you hold the trigger forward then you hold the trigger going backwards and then you let the trigger go and you see the suctions happening. You see all the dirty water is being sucked off the carpet into the machine. And it fills up quickly. So this is what you, need, you want to pay attention to is when the um, tank is full, uh, not to the, to the rim, it's when the, when the line uh, says full and you see the water there, it's time to empty it out. So you see how much dirt came out of this carpet. So all you do is slide it back in place and when you are ready, you know, hold the trigger and spray soap again. So once you're done spraying soap, remember for deep cleaning, 
you hold the trigger going forward, you hold the trigger going backward, and, and you're applying soap. When you're done, you remove your hand off the trigger, and you just go forward or backward, and what this will do, it, it will take um, you know, dirt off the carpet. If you look closely, you see the amount of water being sucked off the carpet into the machine. That means the machine is working and there's water on the carpet. Um, on the second pass, you see, there's not much water going. That means whatever water was in the carpet is already went in. And uh, you could go like one or two more passes and you won't see any more water going into the vacuum cleaner. So in that case, you just move on to the next part of the carpet to get a better cleaning done. Um, after a while, it takes about, about 45 minutes for the carpet to clean after you have vacuumed it and cleaned all the water into the tank. Um, you know, it works because when you pour out the water, you see how much dirt it came out. So, um, depending on the dirt level of the carpet, you go for it, you know. So, in this case, you see the vacuum cleaner is being moved forward and backward. This is when actually the carpet is already wet. We already soaked it with soap. Uh, now we're just taking out whatever dirty water along with the soap out. So I'm trying it on multiple different surface. So you see the, um, the difference in, uh, in operation. I think overall this vacuum is do did its job. Uh, I'm happy with it. I tried it in different carpet. Like you see, this is a secondary carpet in the living room and um, it did great job with cleaning and it worked just, uh, just as good as the other one. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your family and friends. So it's now it's time to put the vacuum cleaner away. I wanted to quickly show you how what to do to get it clean until the next time you use it. Because this type of vacuum cleaner, you don't use it every day. When you do use it, you want it to be ready. So you take everything off. You see the face, uh, the toe, toe face plate comes off. You could clean that. You could clean in there if you like. Um, you could also use a special brush that it came with, like this one to clean off the hair that the uh, brush caught or any other debris that it caught. Um, you could take your time trying to clean that. Uh, it's worthwhile because next time you want to use it, it will be ready to go. Uh, you will be able to use it, uh, not worry about getting the dirt on it already. Um, then you get to clean all of this in. You just, you know, the special brush goes in there and you are able to get all the hair and whatever else got trapped inside. Uh, you know, and, and get it ready for next time. And this is what you don't get to do when you bring a commercial vacuum washer or cleaner uh, because a lot of this dirt that you see, it's from your house, from your carpet. Um, but in the commercial carpet, commercial carpet cleaner that you pick up in your supermarket, um, have other people's dirt and whatever. It, that's kind of disgusting. So it's, it's, it was worth getting this thing, you know. So again... So since I'm going to put it away for maybe a year or a couple of months, I don't know. So I'm just going to give it a quick rinse because whatever soap mixture I had, I didn't want it to damage the plastic. So I'm just rinsing it just to be safe. Maybe I don't have to, but, you know, I like to be safe. So I'm rinsing it So because I'll be putting it away for at least a couple of months. So congratulations to um, you if you're thinking about buying it. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Look how much dirt and debris that came out from this um, you know, one time cleaning that I did with this carpet. I bought this carpet, um, I, I believe last year, and it wasn't too dirty, but um, you know, the, I, I'm kind of surprised how much dirt came out. Uh, so it was worth it, I think, overall.